Crystal. My next guest went viral during lockdown for, well, really funny, sometimes sweary, celebrity voiceovers. <laughs> uh, why are they all shouting? They don't sound very happy. Uh, there's Nicola, she'll, she'll be nice. Now that's what they call a good Scottish welcome, Boris. Listen to the Scottish people. They hate you, absolutely hate you. Listen, who's this guy? What's your name? Don't know you. And, right, come on, Bodgers. And, and, put your arm down. It's my house. <laughs> they hate you, man. Bodgers. <laughs> that's brilliant. Um, that's comedian Janie Godley, of course. And I'm sure you remember, I talked to her last year when she told me she'd been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Well, it was during all of that time. She was also finishing her first ever novel, Nothing Left Unsaid, which is out today. And she joins me now. Happy publication day, Janie. Congratulations on this. I know how you put your whole heart and soul into this book, didn't you? I did indeed. It was quite a, a rough time writing during lockdown because my brain just kept thinking, are we all going to die? No, finish the book. Are we all going to die? No, finish the book. So it, it's been quite a tough one, but I'm so happy that so many people are enjoying it already. Absolutely. Well, of course, I recognise so much of this because um, some of it is set obviously in the present day and then you go back to the 70s, uh, you know, in Glasgow, which of course is where I grew up. So, I mean, I, I have barely laughed, uh, you know, I felt very emotional about it. I love the women. Now, we can't, we can't talk about it too much in depth because there's a big twist that I do not want to give away. But I love your characters, these incredible women. Absolutely. Bridie McBride is a real person. I got that name. I love all the names. There's Senga, there's Isa, there's Philomena. There's all these women sticking together and, and navigating the hottest summer since the sun was invented in 1976. And we've got present day Sharon who's dealing with her own problems. So, yeah, there's so many characters and the music as well and the television of the time. You, that's the thing. I, you took me right back to that time that I could almost, you know, you know when the, you know when the tar in the street used to used to get all soft, I, I, I could smell it. Do you know what I mean? It, it was so evocative, Janie. It really was. And what makes it even more impressive is that you you finished it and then you were re-editing it whilst you were going through treatment, whilst you had yeah. your diagnosis. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, just touch something. Um, yeah, I did, and it was quite a. It, it, trying to focus on the final editing of the book and focus on the fact that I'm dealing with ovarian cancer was quite a clash. And everybody kept saying, you know, don't worry, it'll take your mind off it. Nothing, nothing really takes your mind off it at all. Well, that's the thing about you, which I think has been, it's been so good, Janie, and so helpful to so many people. You're very honest. You know, obviously I follow yeah. you online and some days are bad days. And you say, yeah. this is a bad day. You know, you talked about the fact when you lost your hair, how that mm -hmm. affected you. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's, been, it's been really, really hard. And it is really hard. And we should yeah. be able to say that. Yeah, people tend to always keep on, you know, when people meet me, they're like, oh, don't worry, you're going to be fine. And then you're like, well, you really don't know that. And I have to accept that I might not be fine and prepare myself for that. But then again, I might, you know, once I've got my last chemotherapy next week and then they scan me and then they tell me how successful it has or has not been. And I have to prepare myself for both of those options. But at the same time, I have to live my life as it is. And speaking about it and talking about ovarian cancer has made other women go and get checked. And, and they email every single week. And there's women who email me to say, thank goodness you said that because I got checked and I have ovarian cancer, but I've caught it early. And that is worth everything. Absolutely. That is Absolutely. And I know your family have been fantastic. Your lovely daughter, your husband and very important member of the family who I adore is, is Honey, Honey the Sausage Dog. I mean, I honestly think, I, I know you, 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 there she is, there she is. And, you know, giving her a cuddle just makes you feel better, doesn't it? She does. And I take her out in the pram because she's scared of the world because she's a wee rehome dog. And I put her in the pram and then I take her down to Eusebius and I have a coffee outside. And, you know, I've realised that I just sit with my hand on her head and stroke her and she leans into it all the time. She loves, she loves getting stroked and she's been a real emotional help for me, poor wee Sybil. She's over there on the sofa having a sleep. I'm just going to leave her sitting there. Oh, sitting leave her. Don't. 
Don't disturb her. She'll give you that that look. We don't want. I know the sausage dog look. Oh yeah. yeah. We, the side eye. We don't want any of that. We don't want any of that. Now look, we want to see you performing again. Um, and actually, you're going to be working today, aren't you? You're not doing something for Radio Four today. Tonight I'm on at the Webster Theatre. I'm doing a whole hour show, and I think it's going to be called Sit Down Comedy. I don't <laughs> think I can stop an hour because one of the biggest side effects that I've suffered with the chemo I've been very lucky with a lot of the side effects but the biggest one has been the fatigue so nice. I'm getting a chair and I'm going to sit on stage and do a whole hour show um, for Radio 4 and I'm really looking forward to seeing an audience again <laughs> to make me feel that wee bit Janie again so yeah. yeah. Back, to, back to you, back to you that's for sure and all of these Brilliant videos you do. I mean, I love the political ones you do, and of course, Nicola Sturgeon, but also the animal ones, Janie. Yeah. Uh, honestly. We were, uh, <laughs> we were brought up on animal magic. Remember, we, we were brought up with that TV show where the, the animals spoke, and yes. I love in animals, it's my favourite thing. We otters going, it's my ice cubes, he's in my ice oh, cubes. Oh, I love they the ottery ice cube. I was talking about that this morning. I was talking about that this morning, I was. Jenny, the book is out today. I know Nigella Lawson read it in a one sitting on a flight to Australia. She read the whole thing and she loves you. And congratulations on this. This is a major achievement, especially as you've been going through what you've been going through. And we wish you all the best. Let me know how you got on. And good luck today with your sit-down comedy. That's a whole new genre that Janie has invented. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.